Hey guys, the following clip is about logarithms and how to use them. Enjoy! Logarithms are used to simplify difficult math questions, especially those that has more than one logarithm in them. Um, and the rules are almost exactly the same as the indices rules. So let's look at the four important rules. First of all, when we have one log and it's added to another, we can multiply the two values at the end of the log. When we're subtracting two logs, we can divide them. When we have a log and a base number to the power of a number, the power can go in front of my log. And when we have a log and a bottom number with a base number is equal to C, my bottom number becomes my new base number. My answer becomes my power and my base number becomes my answer. This is an example of rule number four. So if I've got a log 525 equals X, my five becomes my base number, my X becomes my power and my new or my old base number becomes my answer. So what we're going to do today is we are going to go, we're going to answer this question. When we have an unknown power, the only way that we can find what the value of that power is, is when we use logarithms. When you start losing, using logarithms, the first thing we need to do is we need to put a log in front of both of my terms. So my first step is writing out log 3 to the power of x is equal to log 100. Very important that you put a log in front of both of your left hand side as well as your right hand side. Now that I have my new logarithm equation, now I need to apply one of these rules. As you can see, I've got a base number with a power, and the rule that we need to use is that the power becomes the number in front of my log. So therefore, I can put x in front of my log. So I have x log 3 is equal to log of 100. Now we apply basic algebra where we need to find the value of x, so I need to have x alone. At this stage, x is multiplying by log of 3. How do we get rid of log of 3? We do the opposite. So what we need to do is divide by log of 3, and what you do on the left, you need to do on the right. Therefore, I divide by log of 3 on this side as well. And then I type it into my calculator. When we type it into our calculator, you will see that you have a button that says log. So we're going to push that button. So we're going to have log of 100 divided by log of 3. And that is equal to 4.19. Remember the degree of accuracy. In this case, we did 2dp. And that is how we apply the first rule of logarithms. I hope this clip helped, guys. If it did, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share it with anyone it might possibly benefit. If you've got any questions, please drop it in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Please also find the link to the indices rules over here, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!